Buenas noches. Welcome back to another episode of the BPM Podcast, your favorite podcast in the world. And I'm back, baby. I'm always coming back. You know me. Um, It's been a crazy week. Uh, if I count, you know, last week till today, it's been a crazy week. That's how I count my weeks. This is a new week. And this is way my this is where my week starts. After this podcast, my week starts. Um, uh, I have a story to tell you guys, you know, I got turned around in the, in some little town that I've never been before. I was working my way through the middle of like a thunderstorm in the midnight. Um, there was something in the headlights. It stopped me from like on a dime it stopped me just like i was like whoa you know and uh she was scared to death this is hard for me to tell you uh so i said climb in and then she climbed in oh yeah she climbed in well she was bruised up from head to toes with a tear in her blood-stained shirt she didn't tell me the whole truth. But she didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? I knew what had happened to her. I didn't load her down with questions. She had been through enough. I just threw it in drive. And looked in those eyes. And I asked her. Where he was. And then she responded with something that I wasn't expecting. She went, I don't know if he's an angel. Because angels don't do what he did. He was hell bound to find, he was hell bent to find the men behind. <laughs> All the whiskey scars I hid. I never thought my date of justice would come from a judge under a seat. Then I knew right then and then I never get hit again. When he said to me, just wait in the truck. What's going on, everybody? So, <laughs> that was the beginning of a song called Wait in the truck by <laughs> Hardy and somebody, right? I discovered um, Hardy. Not I didn't discover Hardy. I discovered uh, country music about a year and a half ago, and it's, I really took a liking to it. I used to hate country music, like with a with a passion. I used to just despise how it sounded what they were talking about i didn't understand what first of all it took me a while to understand what was happening right because like they have a way to hidden certain tones to make the words rhyme with the twang and like the southern uh lingo and i didn't i didn't really care for the tunes nor the lyrics nor nothing and all of a sudden here i am at 36 and a half or something like that. I don't know how old I am anymore. Right? Uh, and all of a sudden, I started listening to a little more country. And I like it. I, it it's fun. It, it, it's it, it's wholesome. It's not about shaking your booty, you know? It's about God, your truck, and the girl that left you all alone. So this... I, I find this song hilarious. Because... <laughs> I find it hilarious, one, because the story is outrageous. So he's driving down in the middle of June through a thunderstorm. He sees a fucking a lot lizard, picks her up because she's been, you know, beaten to an inch from her life. And he decides, he's like, you know what? This is my time to uh, show the world that 
I am a good man. Jesus put you in front of me. I must. I must. I do declare. I must. I do declare. I must defend your name. Kill the son of a gun. And then smoke one of his cigarettes. And I'll get locked up for life. But hey, this is a better place than where I sent him to. This is the, the the song. He's like, I killed a man for hitting a woman that I didn't even know. It was no my business. She won't. I didn't even know her name. Sometimes she writes. Sometimes she visits. But hey, I did got what God sent me to do. Good old good old boy did a good old boy justice move. Uh, <laughs> the sound is so ridiculous. Well, I knocked and knocked. No one came, so I kicked in this double wide door. Double wide is a double wide trailer, so it don't get no better than this, right? He knocked and knocked. He's like, "No one's coming." I'm knocking this double wide trailer door open. I let the hammer drop before he got to that twelve he was reaching for. You know, the hammer on the on a on a on a little six shooter, you know? When that hammer goes down, the evil goes away. They didn't try to hide my pistol. They didn't try to run. I just sat on the porch smoking one of the cigarettes and waited for the cups to come. That's a good old boy right there. You know, he did good. He did everything he was supposed to do. Save that girl from getting hit. By that guy, because who knows? She probably got another guy that hits her too. So I don't know if he's an angel again. I never thought of it. Yep, we in the truck. Yep, it's been 60 months and she still comes <laughs> to see me from time to time. It was worth the price to see the brighter side. Oh, that girl I picked up that night. I might be here forever. It ain't paradise. That's true. But it's a whole lot better than that place I send him to. Yeehaw, boy. Can you imagine? Put yourself in those shoes. Can you imagine driving in the middle of the night in a winter storm? Not winter storm. A thunderstorm. In July or June or August. Wherever you live, wherever the thunderstorms come. Mostly the summertime, right? And you're going from point A to point B and you find yourself a, a good old lot lizard beaten half dead. What do you do? You stop and be like, hey, you need ma'am? Do you need help? Or you just keep on driving. I'm not a bet. I'm not this guy right here. Hardy is a better human than I am. You know why? Because I wouldn't I wouldn't even look at her. I'm like, oh, there's nothing there. There's nothing for me there to look. Uh, uh, that is the storyline is so cringy. That's what it is. It's so cringy because he wants to put himself in 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 the savior shoes. I'm doing this hard time. It ain't it ain't paradise, but hey, I did the right thing. He's probably the only one in shout time telling everybody he's like, hey, I saved a woman. I'm the only one in here for doing something right. Y'all are all criminals. It's like a complex of like, I'm better than everybody else because I didn't even run. Well, I run because when God is my witness, it's all I need, right? And I might get a, I might get some, I might get some hate for this, but I think it's stupid. And it's just a sound, but I think it's plain old stupid, boy. Let me tell you. Because now you just threw your life away, Hardy. You threw your life away for some. You ain't even getting nothing. You need a little sloppy toppy. You didn't get nothing. You ain't no. You don't even get like sexy pictures sent to you through the through the mail. Nothing. She just comes and tell. It's like you such a sucker. You you. She comes and laughs at you because you're not an angel, obviously. Because you you done did the worst thing ever. So she just comes out of pity. And on the way there, she buys some stuff with the food stamps and keeps on rolling, you know. Um, 
I'm not knocking country. I'm just knocking this song because this song is ridiculous and it's catchy. That's the the other thing. It's catchy, right? Just waiting the truck, just waiting the truck. <laughs> but it is catchy and it is ridiculous. And then the Lord gets mentioned a couple times in the in the hook at the end. Have mercy on me, um, sir. If you're a Bible thumper, you ought to know that you can't kill your neighbor or something like that, right? So it ain't no mercy on you because you think you did the right thing. And that brings me to like this point I'm trying to make. With the belief of religion, the belief of God. Humans have done the most atrocious shit. Imaginable. They've done some of the worst things humans have done because either God told them or is the right thing to do by the Bible or it is with with this notion that, that there is God. And I'm not saying there's not, but with the notion that we are. I don't even know how to explain this because I, I like I have like this confusing thoughts about it like with in the name of god a lot of things have transpired they are not let's say godly they're not the best parts of humans we have gone to war we sacrificed people we killed people we we done some fucked up shit fucked up stuff on in the name of god so would my, I guess my question is, would humans not be the same if there was no God? If the idea that there is a God was never implemented or, or, or brought up on or spoken about, have would humans be different? And that's, I mean, that's almost impossible to answer because... We have the knowledge that there's some higher power, right? We have the ability to know what's right and what's wrong. But there's some people out there that are crazy, like fucking Hardy. Hardy out there killing people for nothing. Instead of just beating them up, he's like, I let the hammer talk under the seat. I pulled them out and bam, 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 bam. Ho, you dead. I'm going to jail. I'm smoking one of your cigarettes. And on the way, and by the way, I'm going to wear your tank top. Right. So the, the. Just like politics, God is intertwined with everything we do, with everything we say. And if you have a belief that, that there's not the same as me, I'm not trying to convert you. I'm not trying to change you. I'm just being me. And I might be wrong. Thirty four percent of the time. That's a good number, right? Thirty four percent of the time. But that's me. And, and believing in something higher than yourself, it's definitely good. It, it has his, it, its advantages, right? Just like I'm all for doing whatever makes you happy, whatever makes more sense to you. This song made me laugh because it's, it's putting himself in a, in a position where he did the right thing, right? He did the right thing. He saved that lot lizard from an abusive partner. But did he do the right thing? Wasn't that guy somebody's father? Wasn't that guy somebody's son? Wasn't that, that's what I'm saying? Like so, like in the name of like the being. self-righteous and i go back to this we are so self-righteous when it comes to a lot of things and i know this is just a song it's just it's just a story a made-up story but i guarantee you that that made-up story is somebody's truth somebody's sitting in a jail so be like fuck i did that and look at me i'm still here i'm 30s i'm 65 years old i did that 20 years ago 
right? And that girl's got a family and babies. She's living her life. And I'm stuck because I thought I was doing the right thing. So even when you think you're doing the right thing, you might be wrong. So by that, this is by that point that I just made, I might be right about everything I'm talking about because I'd be wrong. But hey, who knows? The universe is weird. Money's not real. Money's not real. Nothing's real. But there's I'm trying to discover more about country without being too country. I haven't bought a pair of boots yet or a sombrero, right? The sombrero goes with me because I'm Mexican. I should do a podcast with a sombrero, you know what I mean? I'm going to buy myself a cowboy boots, a cowboy hat, and a big old belt buckle where I could put it on the stove and warm up tortillas. Or if I'm camping, I could just put it on the fire, you know, make some some eggs and sausages. Some eggs and sausages. Sausage. I don't know why I say sausages like that. So, uh, eggs and chorizo, you know. Una tortilla con chorizo. What's happening, huh? Uh, <laughs> but you should weigh in the truck. And this this song has been percolating inside of me for quite a while now, all right? Because the first time I heard it, I was like, oh. This is what, first of all, it took me a couple of times to understand what was happening because just waiting to truck that, that little chorus is kind of catchy. And then I was like, oh, he is, he is Superman of the goddamn, you know, Southerners. He out here serving out fucking chips and grits, shrimps and grits or something, whatever he is. And then I was like. And I ask people, <laughs> this is the funniest shit. I've asked people, like, hey, have you waited in the truck? And they're like, what? Yeah, have you waited in the truck? And they're like, yeah, uh, my mom? And they're like, uh, what? I wish you guys could see the shit I ask people. Mostly the people I work with, because I spend most of my time in fucking work. I spend it at work. Most of my day is at work. Sometimes, you know, sometimes... I get two days off. Sometimes I don't. But the, because that song has been percolating, because I knew I knew that deep down I found it to be repulsive, right? And it's on the radio all the time. I listen to the radio like an old person because I get tired of like my own shit, my own music, the own the, the music I listen to. And if I'm not listening to music, I'm listening to a podcast. But I'll put on the radio, you know, just to to fuck around and see what what's going on in the real world without my input in it, right? Because I want to be able to be like, oh, this is what's popular. That's what's like, like I'll go from the country to the Mexican to like the, the hip hop. I, I go through everything, a little bit of everything, just to see what's popping. It it might not be the best way, but it's my way, and I like it. You know, I get tired of the hip hop. Boom, I switch stations. And not only because of the music, but sometimes the the the, the, the talk shows and on the and yeah, I know you could just get them on your phone, you know. You could just n leave me alone. I do things the old way. I make you fall in love with me the old way, girl. You know what I'm saying? I'll buy you some strawberry chocolate. I don't even like berries. I'll buy you some flowers. You know, I'll send them to your mama's. Your mama, she will fall in love with me. I'll make your mom fall in love with me before you fall in love with me, girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's the way I do it, right? So it, it keeps popping on and pop. And I was like, God, you know, why is this song so repulsive and so annoying? I even told my son, I was like, hey, I know you don't like country. He fucking hates country. He, he my son, the little hoodlum I have, 15 years old, hates country. He's all about, you know. Nirvana and hot chili peppers and and what's that guy's name? What's that guy's name? Uh, little Darky. He's got weird taste in music, but again, I love it. I love. He's got his own taste. I'm not pushing my taste on him, but I was like, listen to this words, this song. He's like, Dad, country is so. same sex attracted because <laughs> I don't want to say the word because you know 
YouTube and Spotify, all those people are like, oh my god, he's such a homophobe. I'm not a homophobe, but my son said, like, hey, that's kind of same-sex attracted. <laughs> it is. It is kind of it's, it's cringy. It's like, at the end of the day, that song, it is cringy because of different things. But there's many artists that I, like, country-wise, that are good. And I I know I'm going to get, like, fucking blown up because I'm Mexican. I should listen to Mexican music. But Mexican music is, like, there's some good thing. There's some good, like, songs. But most of them right now are, are about, and for the last 15, 20 years, have been about cartels. I don't fucking, I'm not drug dealing out here. I'm not, I'm slaying goddamn burgers and tacos. How do I relate to fucking Joaquin Chapao Guzman? Joaquin Chapao Guzman singing about he's still got the power even though he's locked up. How do I relate to that? How, How does that make my day better? You know, but we have like this crazy fucking, and I get it. Like it, it's catchy and you're like, fuck yeah, you know, but. It's not for everyday consumption. When I'm drunk and I'm fucking, you know, loaded, then maybe I'll put a couple in there, you know, get the blood pumping. You know, I'll be like, hell yeah, I'll move pounds of beef and potatoes. But I'll move pounds. You know what I'm saying? No, there's the, the construction workers. Construction workers love narco corridos. They fucking love narco They fucking bust their ass from Monday through Friday. And on Saturdays, they're fucking, you know... They got the fake Gucci on, the fake Louboutins, and they're fucking out there, you know what I'm saying? Trying to molest somebody. I know a couple. I know a couple of construction workers that are like, they're sleeping on, they're sleeping on a goddamn air mattress and eating ramen noodles every day just for that weekend life. The weekend warriors, you know what I mean? They've got their nice outfits on. You gotta drive a shitty ass car that sometimes starts, sometimes it doesn't. Priorities are fucked up, player. You know that that weekend at the at the club is gonna cost you. You gotta snap out of it. Thirty five year olds out there, you know, thinking they're twenty or eighteen or twenty three. You gotta fuck it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like the the Mexican music, some some of the like romantic ballads or some some of the uh, more non-cartel related songs are good right but like the other ones are like uh, yeah fucking i don't really much care for them so it's in between reggaeton which is i'm kind of like falling out of love with reggaeton and i like more i like more of a latin trap right because it's like it's it's the ability to rhyme, the ability to to be on beat. That's the only thing I like about being on beat. If you're not on beat, like Cartel de Santa, like Tola Shori Shori, Bucando Mari Mari. What in the world is that? I get it. It's catchy because it's like uh, repeat repetitive, and the human brain is retarded or not smart. Sorry, not smart. Oh, I need to slow down. You know what I'm saying? This little nicotine, this little... I'm drinking a... I'm drinking something different today. Let me tell you guys what I'm drinking. I'm drinking a Cutwater Bali High. Tiki Rum Mai Tai. That's what I'm drinking right now. I don't know why I decided on this one. I had a couple Lagunitas before I started recording. And one of these to just to... You know? Just to... Get in the zone. If you're not in the zone, you're not in the zone. I'm a weird person. I'll go today. I literally spend the first five hours at work. 
Didn't even say a word. Just nodding. Yes, no, yes, no. I just wanted I just wanted to be left alone. But that's my own retarded mind. But if you don't like country, you're missing out. If you being held by the by the constructs constructs construct of your own ethnicity, whatever you are, it could be Filipino, Mexican, Native American, country finds a way to let you know that you are a fucking human. That's what I discovered. It lets you know that like, hey, I've, even though you think you're Mr. Badass, Mr. I fucking, you know, I fuck all these bitches, Mr. I, nah, country's got a way to like let you know that like, hey, at the end of the day, there's a soft spot. There's a soft spot in you and someone is going to discover it so be ready love I don't, what is going on right now love would find you you will not find love you can keep looking but they won't find you listen I've taken enough of your time if you're not Follow me on TikTok, on YouTube. YouTube is a big one, right? YouTube is where I'm trying to get paid. Not trying to get paid, but I'm trying to grow that into scratch that. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. If I bring you a smile, a laugh, or a fucking even an anger. Emotion. Why not? Follow my follow your boy at the Back Porch Mexican Podcast. And with that, my friends, I let you guys be because I took enough of your time. Remember, this ain't your army. Bye.